for Is better. It's tough up here because all I see is lights. I can kind of make out your faces. It's a little blinding. Waiting for a Hedeman? <laughs> Mr. Racinos, I have one other question before we start. Please be careful. Is there something? Mouse is thinner when you're training than uh, you would when you're talking with another one. Because uh, it would be hard to study? Uh, okay. Like I would have that. I, I would think it would be really easy. Okay, good. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome, welcome. Bienvenidos, bienvenidos. Probando uno, dos, tres. Testing, one, two, three. Sound engineer in the control room, did you get that? Hopefully, yes. Your speech, your speech is is this one. Okay. It's very small. Okay. I don't know. Uh, they need uh, Bluetooth.
Come on, you stand there. And butt your knees together. Oh, good. No. Wait, I want to make it hard for you. All right. Are we all set? Everyone else is set? Miss Newman, you're set? Okay, so uh, let me know the signal when we're starting. Good morning and welcome to the student government swearing in ceremony at the Scholars Academy for the 2021-2022 school year. It's so wonderful to have you all here today. To begin today's ceremony, we are going to start with the, our Scholars Academy color guard who will lead us in the Pledge of Allegiance. Would everyone please rise for the Pledge of Allegiance? Assembly salute. Assembly pledge to the American flag. I pledge allegiance to, to the, the flag of the United States of America and, and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. You may be seated. Thank you so much. We're very excited to have a color guard this year. Thank you for joining us to lead us in the Pledge of Allegiance. Unfortunately, we couldn't fit our flags in our television studio where we're, joined to where we're joining today for this incredible ceremony. We're going to purchase some smaller flags that will fit so that next year we are all ready to have the full color guard here to start our ceremony. So it is my pleasure as the president of, uh, president, oh, that's uh, giving myself a new title, I'm sorry, Hedeman, as the principal of Scholars Academy, to welcome you all here today and to get us started for this very exciting event. We did have to reschedule this event as we're still dealing with many obstacles related to the COVID-19 pandemic. We were all here just a couple of months ago in December, ready to have this same event, but you know, things have been happening and we have obstacles in the way we weren't able to complete it. We are now here together and very excited to finally swear you in as you've already been working hard for months as student government leaders. So I'm just going to ha say a few brief words to welcome and set the tone. Civics is an essential part of the academic program. By learning the foundations and functions of government and engaging in the democratic process, our students will become active citizens and informed voters of our future. Student voice is incredibly important as a part of the middle and high school program. And the student government here at Scholars Academy has grown tremendously over the past few years. During remote learning, student leaders took advantage of virtual meeting platforms and flexible scheduling, planning and facilitating events for students in all grade levels. Opportunities for student voice and leadership grew tremendously. When we returned this year to in-person learning, that energy came right back into the building. And I could see and feel the high levels of engagement in our student-run clubs and events. It's been so exciting to be back in person and see how many students we have participating in all of these different clubs and opportunities that we have. And I'm so proud of all of you, our student leaders who put in the time and effort to improve our school community. Congratulations to our student leaders and thank you for your dedication and your hard work. Let's give yourselves a round of applause. I am also very thankful and humbled to recognize the support of our elected officials who have supported our schools throughout the years and continue to support in so many ways. I do wanna recognize a few of these elected officials who provide direct support specifically to our school on an ongoing basis. Queensborough President Donovan Richards who previously served as a council member for the Rockaways, council member Joanne Ariola, state Senator Joe Adabo, and of course, who's here with us today, Ms. Stacy Pfeffer Amato, State Assembly Member. 
Ms. Graffer Amato has always been a strong supporter of the Scholars Academy, and I am so excited that she's here to welcome you all today for this swearing-in ceremony. Thank you so much for all that you do for our school. We really appreciate you. Let's give Ms. Graffer Amato a big round of applause. And I'm going to invite her up now to get started. Thank you. Good morning. Good morning, Scholars. We can, it's OK. We're good. I'm really honored to be here today for so, so many reasons. But first of all, congratulations to all of you on the student government and to the student leaders that are up here on the stage. Hearing Ms. Smythe and Principal Smythe, I want to thank you for your leadership during these crazy COVID times. But just to hear the words that you took on these roles, one before you had a swearing in ceremony, so that just shows that you're really humble. It's not about a ceremony today, and that you took your roles seriously and already started, you know, working when you were home, which was difficult at best. And then when you came here to bring that energy, I'm already proud, but I know the rest of this year when you pull it out to the end, we'll know all the great accomplishments that you'll make and we're all gonna celebrate and share that together. Taking on a, a leadership role in your school is a big job because you become hmm, like the complaint bureau, right? You found all of a sudden that friends that you've talked to all along have a lot of complaints or we like to say concerns and that's okay because you could flip that to a positive because it is about concerns and complaints are valid. That's my job. I am an elected official. I work on the state budget and make laws but I also take on the concerns and complaints of the community because those voices matter. And because you've taken on leadership roles in your school, your voices matter because you're gonna be listening with a different ear now and then bring those concerns forward. And my job and the principal's job and all the administration that's here is to listen because that's really the goal is to make sure you have a platform that you could speak and we're gonna listen and hopefully make some change. It could be within our community in the school, around the school or in our state. So my door is always open to you. Internships, opportunities, please stop by. My door is always open. If it's just a discussion, talk about college plans or concerns that you've seen in the community, again, my door is always open to you. Now, my other pride comes from I am a Scal's parent. I had two children who both graduated from here, and I know what your days look like. It's full of rigor, it, it's full of excitement, and you work hard, again, just setting up the stage for young adults in our community, and I'm proud of you. But today's all about you and celebrating your elections and your victories. So if we could just jump right into it. I'd love to just call up, I, I don't know how we wanna run this. Um, we're gonna call up our uh, president of our high school and um, middle school. We're gonna swear in, very serious. We're gonna take your names, numbers, social security numbers, so if you mess up, <laughs> you're gonna owe me. No, I'm just kidding. It's all good, because this is about when you do this in part of student government, it is supposed to be enjoyable. And you're supposed to gain knowledge, experience, and then turn that around and, and use it for your benefit. So let's get started. Very exciting. So I'll assist. Okay. Um, let's do the, let's see what we got. Okay. First, we have our high school president, Ahidaman. And we're only going by first name basis, as you know. Um, if you would like to come up, I'd like to just. Congratulations. Do you want to do a swearing in of the oath of office first? Um, do you want to do that? Okay, do you want to do that? Except just these four. Just four. Okay, so I'm going to do in you individually, so we'll give you. Okay, so let's get some off the table. <laughs> it's good, it's good. Okay, we're going to, I'm going to leave it here so you can kind of, you feel like you're, you know, it's all good. Okay. Raise your right hand. This is for the high school oath for president. I, state your name. I, Ahidaman. Do solemnly swear. Or affirm, or affirm that I will faithfully execute, that I will faithfully execute the office of president of the Scholars Academy High School, the office of president of the Scholars Academy High School, student government, student sorry, government, and will be to the best of my ability, to the best of my ability, adhere to the guidelines of our student government, adhere to the guidelines of our student government, promote and maintain academic integrity, promote and maintain academic in integrity, leadership and service to our school and community, leadership and service to our school and community. Congratulations, Mr. President. Thank you. Welcome. Congratulations. Great. Congratulations. Thank you. Great. I want to thank Irene Dowdy, the uh, Parent Association co-president, for writing that fabulous oath. Thank you. Yep. Red water. Okay. Red water. My 
do my thing. Ridwan, please come up, high school vice president. Okay. I'm going to leave it here because this is like, okay. There you go. Okay. Ready to raise your right hand? I state your name. I, Ridwan. Do you solemnly swear or affirm? Do you solemnly swear or affirm that I will faithfully execute the office of vice president? That I will faithfully execute the office of vice president of the Scholars Academy High School School Government. Of the Scholars Academy High School School Government. I will retain positive academic standing. I will retain positive academic standing and serve as a leader among my peers. And serve as a leader among my peers. I with well. I will well and faithfully discharge. I will well and faithfully discharge the duties of the office which I was elected. The duties of the office which I was elected to represent the interests of my fellow students. To represent the interests of my fellow students. Congratulations, Mr. Vice President. Thank you. Congratulations. Congratulations. Again, thank you, Irene, for the intense swearing and no. No, we'll do these two. Okay, okay, great. If I can call up. Um, Office. All. I'm sorry. I'm not going to get. All the Wafasayo. Please come up as middle school president. Can't be mad, right? How are you? Great. I'm going to put it over here because they're getting very intense. Okay. I state your name. I Olu Wafasayo. Do you solemnly swear or affirm? Do you solemnly swear or affirm? That I will faithfully execute the office of the president of the Scholars Academy Middle School. I will faithfully execute the office of the president of the Scholars Academy Middle School. Student government, sorry, and will. Student government and will. Do the best of my ability. To the best of my ability. Adhere to the guidelines. Adhere to the guidelines. Of our student government. Of our student government. Promote and maintain academic integrity. Promote and maintain academic integrity. Leadership and service to our school and community. Leadership and service to our school com and community. Congratulations, Madam President. <laughs> Very exciting. Hasnia, please come up. In honor of Women's History Month, month I am digging this. I have to say that. <laughs> I state your name. I Tasnia. Do you solemnly swear or affirm? Do you solemnly swear or affirm that I will faithfully execute the office of vice president? That I will faithfully execute the office of vice president of the Scholars Academy Middle School Student Government. Of the Scholars Academy Middle School Student Government. I will retain positive academic standing. I will retain positive academic standing. And serve as a leader among my peers. And serve as a leader among my peers. I will well and faithfully discharge. I will well and faithfully discharge the duties of the office which I was elected. The duties of the office of which I was elected to represent the interests of my fellow students. To represent the interests of my fellow students. Congratulations, Madam Vice President. Okay, we're going to call up the high school cabinet members. Yep, we're going to call you up, grab your shake, grab a certificate, and then we're going to have you go back to your seats. We're going to stand up here. Uh, they can go back to their seats. Okay, great. High school lead secretary is Abigail. Please come up. And when you go back to your seats, why don't you just stand in front of your seat? Do you want to, or come stand in the front? We'll see okay. if we can. How many do we have? How many? It's quite a few. If there's too many, we'll stop. All and right. We'll do two rounds. We could do this. <laughs> High School Secretary of Events, Raymond. <laughs> High School Secretary of Events, Patrick. High School Secretary of Communications, Chanel. High School Media and Media Coordinators, Isam. And, and Richard. And Richard, come up, please, too. Congratulations. Do you want to do two rounds? 
right, we're gonna do this round first. Right? Is that better? Sure. Okay, great. Okay. And okay. Okay. All right, everyone raise your right hand and repeat after me. I do solemnly swear. Or affirm that I will faithfully execute the office of student government of the Scholars Academy and will, to the best of my ability, preserve, protect and defend the Constitution of our student government. I promise to proudly lead my peers and openly, openly listen to their concerns at all times. Congratulations to all of you. Have a seat, please. Yep. High school advertising team member is Mariana. Advertising team member, Jenna. Twelfth grade representative and advertising team member Kelly. Eleventh grade representative Gabriella. Okay. Tenth grade representative Sura. Ninth grade representative, Celine. Okay, everybody, if you can raise your right hand and repeat after me. I do solemnly swear or affirm that I will faithfully execute the office of student government of the Scholars Academy and will do the best of my ability, preserve, protect, and defend the Constitution of our student government. I promise to proudly lead my peers and openly listen to their concerns at all times. Congratulations. take a moment in between if I could just give a shout out to the student government advisors Miss Newman Miss Quintara Kitana sorry I should know that Help. okay Mr. Ricinos and Thomas Burke who's a former student who's actually here today as a media assistant and a work, a now an employee of the Scholars Academy and we're proud of you Thomas so congratulations to everyone helps <laughs> oh and Mr. I'm sorry I apologize Mr. Becca Oni who is a, a primary advisor also within this group. So thank you. Okay. Okay, we're gonna go up the next group. Eighth grade representative and lead secretary. Adam Edward. Adam Edward. Lead secretary, middle school lead secretary is Uma. Middle School Secretary of Events is Naomi. Middle School Secretary of Events is Michaela. Michaela. Okay. Secretary of Communications, Anthony. Ania is Middle School Secretary of Communications. Middle School Secretary of Media is Mia. Okay. Sorry if I bumbled the names, I do apologize. 
Okay, let's raise our right hands. This is the middle school? Is that okay. I do solemnly swear or affirm that I will faithfully execute the office of the student government of the Skiles Academy and will, to the best of my ability, preserve, protect, and defend the Constitution of our student government. The of our student government. I promise to proudly lead my, sorry, I promise to proudly lead my peers and openly listen to their concerns at all times. Congratulations, middle school government. <laughs> when you said there was a lot of students that are participating, I'm really, really proud of this. This is awesome. I expect to hear a lot of good things from all of you. Okay, middle school media coordinators is Zayden. Zayden, I'm sorry. Zayden, come on up. Mary, advertising team, middle school. Miriam, I'm oh, sorry, Miriam, I'm sorry. Miriam. Middle school advertising team is Esmeralda. What middle school advertising is going to do for the honors and middle school advertising team is Rocco Pisani. Sixth grade representative Lucas, please. You can bring the rest up, right? Seventh grade representative is Saeed Du. Saeed Du. Sorry. Okay, right hand please. You should know this all by heart, now I wanna do it together. I do solemnly swear or affirm that I will faithfully execute the office of the student government of the Skiles Academy and will do the best of my ability to preserve, protect, and defend. To preserve, protect, and defend. The Constitution of our Student Government. I promise to proudly lead my peers and openly listen to their concerns at all times. Congratulations. Let's just give ourselves a round of applause and just let that energy out there. Taking this oath is a responsibility. So there is an expectation that we, we want you to achieve something, we want you to work hard, and we want you to make us proud. And again, like I said earlier, the fact that you've already taken on and this is just a delay in ceremony shows that you're there. But these are the qualities as you move on, whatever your choices are, moving on to the next grade, if it's sixth, seventh, high school, if you graduate, be on time, be responsible. These are the qualities that we need, and I say we as the, the older generation, but we need from you. We need you to stand up, speak up, and, and work with others. We, we need to listen to each other. That's my expectation from you, and that's why I said my door's open. So I do wanna follow back up with all of you and figure out how we could do like a round table and just listen to what your concerns are, what you feel maybe is not happening in the community. Maybe you want to talk about environment, because those are issues that are passionate to me as elected a body that I do go up to Albany and talk about these issues. So I do want to hear from you. But again, I'm just pure joy today to be here with you and celebrate you. And you used the word citizen, I believe, Ms. Smythe, and Principal Smythe, in your speech. So I have an award that I have uh, that we always reach out to the schools and ask. It's the Citizenship Award. Um, we try to like think about students that go above and beyond, are good citizens in their community, in their school community, all over, well around. Um, just go above and beyond. If it's working with fellow peers within the school or outside the community. And, and I just had to do this in this time of COVID and what it was, the challenges that were out there, and I'll say specifically challenges for Irene, um, but I'm just joking, but our whole office and a lot of parents in the Parent Association, if I can call RJ, Raymond Connor, Ray, Ray, RJ up? Yeah. I'm gonna just say, so 
Washington as well. So I'm giving you the citation, and I'm going to just read it. Whereas our state is only as great as the individuals who have proven their loyal and faithful commitment to the community they serve. Whereas RJ has distinguished himself among his peers for both his technological expertise and generous spirit to help others. RJ volunteered his time, talent, and vast knowledge, vast knowledge, enabling one of my team members to smoothly transition to remote work during the COVID-19 pandemic, thereby helping me and my office ensure that my constituents would continue to have unlimited access to any assistance they might require. RJ's actions helped hundreds of people when they most needed it, and now, therefore, myself, as the duly elected of the New York State Assemblywoman, I want to present this to RJ for his outstanding service, for esteem within both worthy of the esteem of his community and myself and the whole New York State Assembly. RJ, without you, we couldn't have we have we would have been limited in what we could do remotely. Which and, and what helped Irene helped all of us because she is such a vital part of my office. I just can't thank you enough. So again, congratulations. <laughs> So, um, thank you, everyone. Um, I think this ending comments I'm going to say from Principal Smythe. But again, congratulations to all of you, and I'm looking forward to see the great things that you do. So, can we get a big round of applause? Thank you so much for coming. We get a big round of applause for our Assembly <laughs> Member Stacy Pfeffer Amato. Thank you so much for joining us for this great event. Um, but we, I do want to be true to my word. So rather than you hearing from me again for the closing remarks for the ceremony, it is our goal to raise student voice. So I'd like to uh, uh, invite up our high school student government president, Ahidaman, to do the closing remarks for today's ceremony. Let's give Ahidaman a big round. As we prepare to finish our first swearing-in ceremony for the Scholars Academy student government, I would formally like to acknowledge and thank Assemblywoman Stacy Pfeffer Amato for taking time out of her hectic schedule to be a part of the ceremony and continuously supporting the, the student government and Scholars Academy for various events and programs. Additionally, this event couldn't be possible without the assistance and encouragement from P Principal Ms. Smythe and Assistant Principals Ms. Colloran, Mr. Brandeis, Ms. Vieira and Ms. Tuberty. To each and every single student government representative that committed, that committed to be a part of the student-led program, thank you. Your hard work and dedication has made the scholars community a vibrant atmosphere. And through your desire for exciting activities, updates to certain plans and proposals for various initiatives, your work has made all scholars feel represented and appreciated. As a senior preparing for college in a matter of a few months, it makes me happy to know that student government will continue to be a voice for all students. To the seniors in student government that are also preparing to graduate from both middle or high school, thank you for all you have done during your respective time as student government. You have left an impact on the student-led program and you'll continue to do so and make change and spark movements in the world around us. Thank you to Mr. Racinos and the media team for recording this event, hosting the student government, and making sure that everything ran smoothly from start to finish. Last but most certainly not least, thank you to the student government advisors, Ms. Newman, Ms. Quintana, and Mr. Vicchioni. Your work does not go unnoticed, and all of us as student government appreciate and applaud you for how much you have done for the students and what you will do for us. This has been an amazing experience, and I'm happy to be your student government president for the 2021 to 2022 school year. Thank you. concludes our ceremony. Thank you so much to everyone who helped make it happen and give yourselves one more round of applause. Have a great day.